Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm doing part two of my top 10 favorite fonts but this time it's five of my favorite fonts and five of Visual Arts' favorite font. Visual Arts is a graphic designer so he has a lot more experience and has used a lot more fonts than I have. I actually use his graphic packs to make my thumbnails and banners and a lot of the fonts in that pack actually have really nice fonts that I'm including in this video. So I'll leave that in the description. I'll leave his channel in the description and I'll just get started with the video. If we can get the same amount of support we did on our last top 10 fonts video, that would be great. Uh, with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, first of all, I don't know why I always look so tired in my intros, but whatever. Uh, we're starting off with number 10 and 26 right here. I believe a visual artist is doing 1, 2, 5, so let's just get into it. I don't know why we're starting at 10, but here we're doing American Captain first. A very popular font, probably like one of my favorite fonts ever. Um, it just like really sleek. It's based off the uh, Captain America font, obviously, and it's just like really sleek, and I think it could fit in gaming thumbnails. Just really, really good looking font. Next one we have here is Babass. Babass, I'm not sure how to say it. If you guys can help me pronounce it in the in the comment section, that'd be great. Just um, all around good font, very clean. Um, it's not really bold, but it's not really thin. And that's what I like about it. So it just like really nice fits with all types of thumbnails. Next one here, we have Levi brush or Levi brush. And it's just one of the best brush fonts. I can, I can just tell you it's a good stroke font. Um, I just like it. Um, it's not really cursive, but it kind of gives that kind of effect. It looks really cool. I actually used it a couple days back when I made this banner for this guy. Um, he had a gaming channel. So you know, if you have a gaming channel, you can you know maybe add this to your banner or your thumbnails. It looks really cool. Number seven here, we have iDroid. Um, what I like about this obviously is that it kind of fits in with the letter previous to it. Um, I think this is based off the Android fonts that they had a couple years back when they just started out, but um, it just looks really cool. Um, just a cool effect. Number six, the last font we have here is Master of Break. One of the best cursive fonts. You know those people who have like really good handwriting in cursive and then they just write something and it's so perfect. It's just like this. So like it looks so good. What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James. And uh, first of all, I would just like to say thank you to Steven for featuring me on his channel. I really do appreciate it. And thank you to anybody that is thinking or has checked out my channel. Uh, if you didn't know already, I actually do graphic design videos. So I'll do graphic design packs, thumbnail, templates, all sorts of graphic design related videos. So if you're into that sort of stuff, make sure to check out my channel. But anyways, let's just get into the number five spot. So guys, the fifth font we have on our list is called Nexa. Nexa is such a good font for anything that's professional, whether that be a website or even a thumbnail, it really doesn't matter, but it's just such a simple font, you can use this in pretty much any design. So make sure you guys go and check out Nexa. It comes in uh, sort of different styles, so you can get Nexa Bold, which is the bolder version, or Nexa Lite, which is the thinner, uh, sort of smaller version of the Nexa font. So guys, going into the number four spot here, we have DK Sensory Overload. This is such a good font for anything that's in the brush sort of style. You can use this for thumbnail designs, uh, banner designs, it really doesn't matter. All of these fonts are good. So guys, moving in to the number three spot here, we have Longshot. This is such a good font for anything that's sort of gaming related. I know tons of FaZe members actually use this font in sort of trickshot thumbnails and also the FaZe Clan uh, official YouTube page actually uses this font as well. So it's such a good, well-known font. It's not too original, that's why it's in the, the number three spot, but it's such a good font if you haven't got it downloaded already. So guys, moving in to the number two spot here, we have Gotham. Gotham is such a good font for anything, just like Nexa, but it just looks a little bit nicer and a little bit more clean. This comes in Gotham Bold, I believe, Gotham Light, Gotham Heavy, all sorts of Gotham fonts. So guys, finally, in the number one spot, uh, this is a very original font, this is why I did pick it in the number one spot, and that is Elemental End. Personally, I think Elemental End should be used on thumbnails, but you can use it for anything else, even some logo designs, you can actually use this font and it looks really, really good, because when you capitalize one of the letters, it actually gives it a different sort of style. Due to this, we had to pick this font as the number one spot. It's just so creative, so original, and you don't see this font too often. And that is it, guys, for the top 10 fonts video. Thank you once again to Steven for letting me on his channel, and thank you to everybody that has checked out and even subscribed to my channel i really do appreciate it but anyways let's just go back to steven and yeah that's the end of this top 10 fonts video um if you want to check out visual arts's channel 
it's in the description below and yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i know you guys enjoyed the last video hopefully you discovered new fonts that you can use in your um, projects in the upcoming days or weeks or years so yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button my name is steven and i'll see you in the next time.